What's up gamer, my name is Luluko and today I'm going to show you how to install Path of Building 2. For those that don't know what it is, POB2 is a very powerful program that lets you plan or examine builds in Path of Exile 2 down to the finest details. The first step is to go to the GitHub page where the project is hosted. The link to this page is in the description of the video, or you can just Google Path of Building 2 and look for the releases page on GitHub. When you get to this page, the first thing you'll see is the patch notes for whatever the latest version is. To actually download the program, you scroll down to the bottom of those notes and look for this little section called Assets. From here, you have two options. The first option is to download the installer, which is the one that ends in poe2-setup.exe. When you try to run the installer, if you're on Windows, you may get this rather alarming pop-up that says, hey, this is going to kill your computer. And the only option will be an X button or a don't run button. Path of Building has been a long-standing and well-known tool used by many people for Path of Exile 1 without any real issues. And the Path of Building 2 project is being handled by many of the same people that worked on the first one. So I would say there's very minimal risk in actually running this program. Windows is simply showing this pop-up because in general, downloading random EXEs from the internet and running them can be kind of risky. To make Windows run the program anyways, click the More Info button, then click the Run Anyway button that shows up afterwards. Click through, I mean, uh, read very carefully through the license agreement, then click I Agree. Then you can choose where the Path of Building 2 program gets installed if you want, but usually I just leave it at the default, and click Install. Once it finishes, you can choose whether or not to make an icon on your desktop, and run it. From there, you should be good to go. The other option is to download the portable version. First, click on the asset that ends in poe2-portable.zip. Open your downloads folder, right click on the zipped folder that you just downloaded, select extract all, pick where you want the program to go, then hit extract. When it's done, it should open this other folder that has a bunch of stuff in it that isn't very useful to you. Scroll through that list until you find a file called pathofbuilding-poe2.exe and run that. You may get the same warning from Windows as we did with the previous method, but if you tell it to run it anyway, that will only pop up the first time you run the program. After that, you're good to go with the portable version. Whichever version you choose, they both work pretty much the same. The biggest difference that I know of is that if you have to uninstall the non-portable version, when you reinstall the program, all of your save builds will still be there. If you delete or lose the folder for the portable version, your save builds will go with it. But yeah, that's the guide. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you found this guide helpful, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more like it. Lastly, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.